the other question I was going to ask you, Mark, is why didn't they just shut the thing down? And I mean, obviously, you guys can't do that with your minimal security force, but you could call the National Guard or you could call the Army just to come and shut the whole thing down. Was that ever something you guys discussed? Well, no, it, it, it's what we did on Sunday. On Sunday, because that's that's right. why I was I gave the twenty eight to three minute left in the third quarter Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl analogy because you were just playing for defense. And I think Saturday night, gotcha. we knew going into Sunday, I knew on my team and, and with what I had seen, God, one more day, just one more day. We could get out of this thing. Just one more. Like We've done amazing to get to the last day. But early in the day, Seven Dust was playing earlier in the afternoon and an ambulance went out. Somebody got hurt and they started pelting the ambulance and they rolled it. Wow. They rolled the ambulance and no one, the police were like, we, we're not going out there. At this point, the crowd had taken control and it was early in the day. So um, that's when I think the calls were made. I, have, I didn't make the calls, but I, I was told because we housed, we secured the back of the facility. I was told, you know, to basically hold the line and that there were going to be police lining up. They had called as far away as New York City because they needed to amass wow. as enough police to get. But it was going to take six hours to get all as many police as they needed to get to the facility. And I and they lined up and they were lined up. I could look out my gate and I could see them line and they would, you know, the road went around the curve and you couldn't see them anymore. Um, and I never re didn't realize how big it was until, you know, 12, 30, one o'clock, whatever it was that they all turned their lights on and we let them in. And it was the longest line I've ever seen, but it took them six hours to call in. And I, I'm going to look, amass the force. I'm going to guess that it was the air force because I think the air force ended up locking me, my team, all of us into the, the compound. And they said, we're not, you're not coming out until we, we declare the situation safe. And I don't know, Stacy, if you saw these, but these vehicles came out of somewhere. Those were the biggest. Did you see them? I didn't see them. They were these massive, and it wasn't a tank, but it was like earth movers, but they were these monstrous vehicles that just came out of nowhere. And there were two of them, and they sat right by those, those military uh, compounds to secure them, locked us in, and the police came in and, and did a sweep, and they just swept everyone into the campgrounds um and that was that so they did chris they didn't it wasn't the national guard but it was the uh new york state patrol i believe i was standing on top of a truck watching the chili peppers and standing there and we saw sort of at first small glowing and we're like something on fire mm -hmm. And it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and popping up in more and more places in the crowd. And then the thing that really scared me, and I think this is almost when we kind of jumped and ran, is some of the vendor trucks, like the refrigerated trucks, they started exploding around us. Mm. So there were fires, the trucks started exploding, and maybe this is right before the sweep. I know they, the chili peppers had they had stopped playing and were off and the wrongs of concert goers were coming toward the media fence. I think maybe trying to get out or something. So they were coming toward the fence. So we jumped down and we ran 